Okay, so we're going to be setting up a hammer in this video so you can make your first map for your mod. So let's go ahead and go to the uh, Steam, Steam Apps common folder. Uh, we're going to be using Source SDK Base 2013 single player. Now if you're making a mod for Half-Life 2 multiplayer, obviously you want to use the multiplayer folder, but as we're making a mod for Half-Life 2 Episode 2, we're going to be using uh, single player. So let's go ahead and go into there. Now let's go into the bin folder. And then let's type H-A-M, hammer. So we want hammer.exe. I'm just going to make a shortcut to this on my desktop so I can get to it pretty easily. So let's run this for the first time. Now when you run it, when you haven't run it before, it will ask you which configuration you want to use. So I'm going to go ahead and pick Half-Life 2. So, right, let's go into Tools, Options. And here are the list of game configurations. Now, our mod isn't showing here, so let's hit edit. And let's just add my mod into there. So we'll close that. Let's select my mod. Now, the next thing we're going to do is add a game data file. That's a, a FGD file. Now, that describes all of the things uh, that you can spawn in Hammer. Um, so if you add anything in the code, you'll need to add it to the FGD in order to use it in Hammer. So what we're going to do is just make a bare bones one for you to use later. So let's go ahead and go to Steam Apps, Source Mods, Mod Episodic, and then let's make a file. I've already made one here. Um, this one is mymod.fgd. Uh, so what I did there, let's just recreate it for this. So let's delete that. Um, Let's do a text document and then call it mymod.fgd. Uh, yep, I'm sure I want to change it. Let's edit that with Notepad. Okay, so at include base.fgd. So that includes all of the base engine stuff. And at include half life. Uh, oop, that's not how you spell Alan. Half life 2.fgd. So that will include all of the Half-Life 2 entities. So once you've done that, um, you can go ahead and close that. So there it is. What we're going to do is we're going to browse to it. So let's go here. So we're in Steam Apps, Source Mods, Mod Episodic, My Mod.fgd. So the next thing we're going to do is set up these other uh, parameters in here. So. Firstly, we're going to set the game executable directory. Now, that is uh, your source SDK base directory, basically, where the Half-Life 2.exe is. So that is in common, SDK base 2013 single player, and it's this folder. So what you want to do is you want to right click and click copy address as text. So let's paste that in. Now, game directory is your mod directory. So let's go ahead and find that. Steam apps. So source mods, mod episodic, let's copy that as text and paste that in. Um, so let's go ahead and go to the build programs tab. Uh, right now it's it's it has the Half-Life 2 uh, configuration setting, so we want to change it to my mod. You notice that they're all blank. Now these four at the top you can copy from the Half-Life 2 setting, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Just to save having to browse for them, so let's paste those in. Because, of course, with your mod, you're running through the Half-Life 2 executable. So that's Fizz. And the final one is VRAD. So let's copy that. Now, the only one that's different to Half-Life 2, of course, is the place compiled maps in this directory setting. So if we browse there, it lets you select a folder. What I'm going to do is just to make it a little bit quicker, I'm going to pick this maps folder, right click at the address bar, copy address as text, and paste that in. So let's click OK. Uh, so it tells me you need to restart Hammer. Let's do that. There we go. That's Hammer restarted. And if you were successful, you'll see that your mod is loaded first down here. And then, of course, we have the Episode 2 content, Episode 1 content, and Base Half-Life 2 stuff. So, let's make a new map. So, I'm not going to focus on this too much. This is just to get things started. But uh, let's make a bare bones map. So, I'm just going to create a brick wall. Let's 
create a box. Let's extend that out a bit. Let's make that hollow so we can walk inside it. Uh, let's create an info player start. Now this is where you spawn. So info player start. And let's create a single light. And a physics prop. So, as you can see, I've already searched for crate here. So, let's have a look. Let's create a small wood crate. Let's reposition that. Okay, so I'm going to save that map as just test. Um, you can save it anywhere. I'd recommend you use uh, either Dropbox or some version control software like Perforce or SVN uh, if you want to, uh, you know, keep working on this. Um, but, I mean, Dropbox is fine for a single person team, but if you're going to be multiple people working on multiple maps, then you will need a, a more a kind of industrial solution like Perforce or SVN. So let's save that. I'll just save that in the mod folder for now. Uh, let's run the map. Go. So that's now going to compile, and hopefully we should see those entities in-game, and we'll have a crate we can just play around with. There we go. And there we go. There's our box. Pick that up, move it around. Okay, so let's close that. And that is setting up your map and hammer.